involved. Fox 5's Maria Arcega-Dunn was at Camp Pendleton for today's training. From the air and on the ground, Marines from Camp Pendleton, the Navy's third fleet, CAL FIRE and the San Diego Sheriff's Department are all working together. It's all part of an annual training exercise between military and civilian agencies to prepare for this year's upcoming wildfire season. Just bringing everything together that, uh, that has been worked so hard on between the folks at CAL FIRE and the military and, and developing that agreement so that in the event we need to mobilize them during a wildfire, uh, it, it's, not a, it's not a weekly process. It's, a, it's done in a matter of hours now to have our, our local military, Navy and Marines up flying for a fire. Camp Pendleton's commanding general, Ted Banta, knows the importance of this collaborative training. In 2003, he was squadron commander at Miramar and remembers watching helplessly as homes went up in flames around the base, while Navy and Marine aircraft were forced to stay grounded due to a lack of policy coordination and red tape. So we've come a long way since then, and that's exactly what we're here to show today is all of those things that we've put in place, that we've established, that enable uh, military and firefighting agencies to work together. Part of that teamwork includes providing military aircraft to help fire crews. The water bucket training is simple, but officials say coordination requires a lot of preparation, especially because wildfire conditions can change so fast. It really isn't dumping water on the fire, it's dumping water in front of the fire to prevent something else from catching on fire. So, like I said, they, they tell us what, what they desire, uh, on, actual like on time, at the time that we're on radio com. Say, all right, shift left, shift right, uh, tag and extend it. Whatever they tell us, we do our best to comply. That was our Maria Arcega done reporting for the next 13 hours.